Dear President, dear Chaba, dear members of the board, dear Yep friends, on the occasion of Yep's 15th anniversary, it is with pleasure that I am sending you this message at Yep's Chairman's Conference Fighting Youth Unemployment in Europe, which is being hosted in Lisbon by GSD and its president Duarte Marquez. I would of course have much preferred to be there with you today, but I was unable to make it to Portugal. As president of the European People's Party, I strongly support your initiative and welcome that your chairman's conference is focused on youth unemployment. Europe is experiencing turbulent times and unfortunately one of the characteristics is high youth unemployment. We have to give the youth prospects and a sense of hope. So I am very happy to hear that you will be focusing not only on the current political and economic situation throughout Europe, but especially on how the youth, their employment and their prospects have been affected, how to solve youth unemployment and the role the youth can play in overcoming the crisis. Europe needs to become a knowledge-based economy. As the EPP, we believe that to reach this goal, the skills and knowledge of young people are key assets in transforming the European economy. Moreover, we need appropriate investments in research and innovation. Building on a strong and well-qualified youth is essential for the future of our economies. But we are also aware that young people are vulnerable to the consequences of economic downturn. So we need to strengthen our efforts to improve the relevance of our education and training systems to the future needs of the labor markets. We also lay emphasis on transition from school to a qualitative job for our young workforce as a measure to prevent youth unemployment. The structural reforms which the EPP proposes, mainly the labour market reforms, should help young people to more easily find suitable jobs in the future. I look forward, therefore, to the White Paper on Youth Unemployment, which is due to be adopted during the conference and from what I understand, to subsequently be put forward for consideration by the European People's Party, just like other valuable YEP contributions of recent times. And I would like to add that your contribution will be ever more important in the run-up to the upcoming elections in 2014 where such youth involvement, initiative and activity will be crucial. Just as in the past, where YEP not only interjected on youth issues, but also contributed to the discussion on general EU policy issues. Dear friends, the conference will also mark the awarding of the first Freedom Prize to Mr. Dmitry Daskevich, leader of the Young Front Opposition Group in Belarus. The Eastern Partnership is very important for the EPP. Georgia, Moldova and Armenia are on the right track, but the democratic situation in the Ukraine and Belarus is very alarming. We have to support the democratic forces in these countries. And for that reason, we are very happy that YEP is also supporting their Belarusian sister party. 
And this is also in line with another unwavering characteristic of YAP in its 15-year history. It has tirelessly fought for freedom and against totalitarian regimes. Therefore, congratulations to Mr. Daskevich on being the recipient of this prize and for his commitment to the pursuit of democracy and freedom in Belarus. The founding of YEP in 1997 was a remarkable event. From the very beginning, YEP was a success and has developed into the largest center-right youth organization in Europe, bringing together 56 organizations from 39 countries. A new generation of remarkably skilled politicians has graduated from the ranks of YEP to now lead a number of our member parties or to take up important roles in politics. Frederick Reinfeldt, Jirki Katainen, Lucinda Creighton, Jan Kees de Jager, to name only a few of them. And I am sure that more are in the pipeline. Dear friends, I would like to end, therefore, by encouraging YEP to continue engaging the new generations in bringing the most important issues onto the agenda and to contribute to the shaping of Europe's future. I wish you fruitful discussions in the upcoming days and a happy 15th anniversary. <laughs>